this afternoon, the Mets face the Minnesota Twins in the final game of a three-game series. The starting pitchers for Minnesota, the veteran right-hander Pablo Lopez, and for the Mets, right-hander Luis Severino. And the Mets will be looking to make this a three-game sweep of the Twins. Talk about good acquisitions that David Stearns made. Severino has certainly been one of them. 20 starts, he has pitched to a 3 5 8 earned run average you wonder how he will go into the month of August and into September and in this stretch run for the Mets because remember Severino last year and the years prior had not really come close to what he's done now which is throw 120 innings. Mets looking for a sweep of the twins Trevor Larnick leads off his first start of the series. Oh nice play. Severino able to knock it down the off balance throw gets Larnick for the first out of the day. And Severino now once again he is so athletic on the mound he's a good athlete last start he made some nice plays and here's another one maybe it's something in the New York water <laughs> I don't know the twins have now played eight games combined against the Mets and Yankees this year they're 0 and 8 and they've been outscored 53 to 14 so one out and nobody on now Max Kepler fastball popped up near third base going back along the line is Vientos in comes Nimmo from left and Brandon makes the catch in very shallow left field in fair territory right near the tarp. Chris Lewis struck out three times last night and the breaking ball got him. Severino's first strike out as he gets Lewis six time in seven at bats Lewis has struck out in this series. Lopez is only four and five with a five and a half ERA lifetime against the Mets but his last start against New York last September he's never been better. Eight scoreless innings 14 strikeouts. Lindor two for nine in this series to left deep Larnick jumps up and Larnick makes the play at the top of the wall Trevor Larnick. Now the Mets Rob Jeffers earlier in the week and now Larnick does the same here against Lindor and that would have been out. Home run robbery from Trevor Larnick to begin play today. Struck him out with a changeup and that pitch has been sharper. Wouldn't you say so out of the all star break but maybe even leading up to the break. Martinez on with the two out walk. Here's Pete Alonso with a runner at first and two out. Pablo trying to go behind the back. It's gloved though by Martin and he steps on the bag to force out Martinez to end the inning. Aaron Buxton last night had four at bats struck out all four times after reaching on three occasions on Monday. Nothing wrong with this swing. Buxton left field and deep back it goes and gone number 13 for Byron Buxton and the twins take an early one nothing lead 435 for Byron now two off the team lead which is owned by Ryan Jeffers and that was a beautiful swing if you place the ball there I don't care how hard you're throwing this thing is middle middle that thing was gone with Neil Vientos and Iglesias coming up against Lopez and Jeff floats one over the third baseman and that's a base hit oh my god just a little dork over the head of Royce Lewis and McNeil has the Mets first hit of the day. Here's Mark Vientos who homered last night. Vientos' home run was his 15th of the year in just 221 at bats. Fly ball deep right field back toward the corner. Kepler near the wall. It's out of here. Mark Vientos goes the other way. A two run homer to put the Mets in front. Number 16 for Vientos. Two to one New York. You know what I got to believe here. That's the first time we've seen him go down the right field line. He's been working right field. It's a fastball but nonetheless he goes with it and this is well out here. That's some power. Oh don't go back. That's for you. I mean you're supposed to keep it. Right Kepler over near the line. Maxwell dive and Kepler makes a good play. Superman diving Max Kepler robbing Alvarez of a hit. Honestly for Max Kepler that's that's a routine catch. He makes it look easy. It's the second Twins hit. And for Martin now his 57th game. Martin runs and the pitch outside Alvarez to second base and Lindor applied the tag and Martin safe. Boy, quick hands there from Lindor on the scoop and the tag but Martin for now swipes his seven. So one ball one strike Trevor with a man in scoring position and he slices this one into left field that'll find the grass for a base hit takes a funny hop towards the wall Martin scores easily Trevor Larnick RBI single the other way and he ties this game at two runs apiece. Larnick runs and this throw is somehow it slips off the hand of Alvarez and it goes to the right side and Larnick is at second base 
And what happened there on that throw from Francisco Alvarez? I have never seen that. Oh, wow. Kepler flied out to left, his first at bat. Line to right field, there's a base hit for Kepler. And Larnick will round third, head home. The relay throw is offline, cut off by Alonzo. Another run scoring hit. This time it's Kepler. And the Twins have three straight hits and regain the lead is 3 2. Lewis struck out his first time up today. He's 0 for 7 in this series with six strikeouts. Pulled to third. That's a fair ball. That's going to find the left field line and also find the corner. Kepler will score easily. Lewis will hold up at second base. It's an RBI double, and the Twins add on. It's 4 2, four straight hits, and still nobody out. But gets enough of the barrel to get it down the line, and the speed of Max Kepler at first base, he scores easily. So, four straight hits for the Twins to start the third inning, and the Mets are going to get Tyler McGill up at the bullpen. And he is a long man up now, with Severino getting toasted here in the third inning. Nobody out. Three runs already in the loft, and that Walner bats. Walner to right center and deep. Back it goes, deep it goes, and gone. Boy, the Twins, like they did in Yankee Stadium in 2017, they are teeing off on Luis Severino. This time they're doing so at City Field. Walner with his sixth, and the Twins open up a 6-2 lead, and still nobody out in the third inning. Popped up again, third base side, foul ground. Viento sprinting, slides and makes a basket catch. Sliding into foul territory for the second out. Well, as he made his way over there, something fell. I think it was his sunglasses off his hat. He was uh, running up and down so hard. And then went sliding and made the grab. Tyler McGill is on in relief for the Mets as we go to the fourth inning. Two on behind Tyler McGill. And Kepler, who had an RBI single and scored a run in the third, is in there. He's also made a fine diving catch. McGill strikes out Kepler with a high fastball. And another. What? The throw hit the batter. Are they going to call the runner out? They're going to call interference? I think they just called interference on the hitter, Kepler, for interfering with the throw by Alvarez to second base. And that's a strikeout. And then an interference called against Kepler, which gets Lee called out at second. We're going to get a big argument about this. Let's see. Get his right helmet. On, get him right on the helmet. Okay, now, now is he in the... Is he in the way? Yeah, he was falling, oh, falling yes, across he was. the plate. Yes, he was. And Alvarez arguing for the interference call, and he got the call. And that ends the inning. And it will be up to Carlos Santana, who was walked and also fouled out to the third baseman, Vientos, who made a nice sliding catch in the third. He's slicing to left. That's going to land for a base hit. Walner scores easily. Carlos Santana thinking, too. The throw not in time. RBI double from Carlos Santana. And the Twins now lead 7-2. RBI number 48 taking that pitch the other way. And the Twins have two doubles in this inning and pick up their seventh run. Well, we go to the bottom half of the fifth inning with the Twins leading the Mets 7-2. Manuel Morgo has gone in to play right field for the Twins, replacing Max Kepler. Hopefully Max is okay. That changeup is so good. That was nasty. When he's going right, when he's dealing, all these pitches are, are similar to what this change of ended up being, which is strike almost the entire way and then falling out of the strike zone. It's a big spot in this game right now. Twins have a five run lead, but now the lineup turns over and the big boys are coming up with power. Chance to get two. Martin picks second for one. The return from Lee. Yes, in time. Double play. Twins go 4-6-3. And the inning is over. The sixth inning at City Field. It's the twin seven, the Mets two. Struck him out on a breaking ball. Sixth strikeout for Pablo. And this is the Pablo Lopez that we've grown accustomed to seeing that we've seen over the last couple starts. Struck him out with a changeup. Down and inside. That thing is a middle middle fastball until it isn't. To the right side, Austin Martin. Clean pick. And he throws out McNeil. And Pablo with another solid start out of the All-Star break goes six strong. Another fine outing from Lopez today and now Cole Sands. Santana slides, picks, feeds, Sands well done. Looking spry at that corner infield spot. Santana weakly hit, still had to cover some ground. Hey, play found his teammate and a one, two, three, seven for Santana Sands and company here in New York and the twins looking to tack on at first and third and nobody out at first leads the twins in homers and RBI but Byron Buxton he's catching up in home runs left side diving stop Lindor second and they get the out of Santana as Jeffers is safe Buxton scores RBI for Jeffers 
And it's an 8-2 game. I think that ball gets by a lot of people, but not Francisco Lindor. Not with the platy glove. We don't like to lie around here. He said that Joan Duran was going to pitch regardless, and sure enough, here he is. First time in this series, first time on this road trip he's on. Bottom nine, Twins with a comfortable lead here in New York. Hung on to by Jeffers at 100. McNeil is out number one. So one out and one on. Now Jose Iglesias trying to snap it over for 12 spreads. Hope the other way. That's a fair ball. It's going to go into the corner. So Iglesias poking that fastball down the right field line. He's got a two base hit. That snaps his 0 for 12. That gives the Mets runners in second and third. Second and third for Alvarez, who's gone 0 for 3 today. And the curve ball hit past the mound. A run will score. But Martin is there to make the play off the back Santana. And there are two out. Torrens comes in to score. That makes it eight to three. But the Mets are down to their final out of the day. The count is 0 2. Strike him out, Joanna. And let's head to the plane. Twins lead 8 3, two outs. Bottom of the ninth inning. Here it comes. Struck came out, and this one is over. And the Twins win the finale and have a 3 and 3 road trip, beating the Mets 8 to 3. Home runs early from Byron Buxton, and Matt Walner had himself a day. And the Twins' offense responds in a big way to win game 3 8 3, the final.